All right, what's something we can feed our microfauna? Or look at it like feeding your aquarium. Mmm, rotten fruit. So this is a old banana peel and some tops to strawberries. And they've already, they've been in this bag, shoot, might be a week now. I don't normally let them go this long because uh, I'm usually feeding sooner than that. But uh, leftover vegetable scraps are great. Banana peels are great. I like to rinse the outside of the bananas off. This has still has some banana in it, but basically, I'm going to put this in a cup. A little mold on it, that's fine. Like, if it's already breaking down a little bit, they have access to it easier. They will... It's not a problem. I'm just going to kind of mix this up. I know, it looks really good, doesn't it? You could even throw this in a food processor. If I had one right here, I would use it right now. Uh. Whoa. Doing something. It smells really good, actually. Now, I don't think you'd want to put a lot of this in an aquarium. Just because, again, it's food. And you put too much in, it's going to mess up your water. Alright, so here it is. It smells pretty good. It's got a little bit of a fermented smell because the fruit was kind of old and uh, starting to decay, but that's okay. Now, I don't know. I, I've, I've fed a lot of fruit. I've been thinking about blending it up for quite a while. I guess you could freeze this in the little cubes. I don't know if that's necessary, but let's uh, feed it to a couple of things and see what happens. So we're going to just, a little over here, a little in the middle, a little on the edge. some in the back so are we feeding scuds and shrimp or are we more like feeding the whole aquarium whole aquarium So what's something we can feed our scuds and shrimp and other microfauna? Veggie scraps. So this is uh, some carrot peel, some leftover Brussels sprouts, the end of uh, zucchini, the end of the carrots. So um, some tough asparagus, you know, once you get toward the end uh, or the base of the asparagus, how it gets hard, so you usually cut that off. So these are the veggie scraps that Normally people might throw in the trash or someone smart might put in a compost bin But we're going to feed it to microfauna like scuds and um, Well scuds, I think technically not really microfauna. They're macrofauna But um, the scuds will start the breakdown process chew it up their waste will become food for microfauna and the microfauna themselves will feed so this is kind of a uh, these three are connected. These have some plants in them and some leaves. This one I've moved a lot of baskets in and out of. It really needs some work, but honestly, it is a haven for the little guys. So lots of scuds in there. You can see them. Lots of scuds. There's a cherry shrimp, snails. Look at them baby shrimp. 
Alright, so we got carrot and a little piece of that zucchini. The zucchini usually floats. The carrot will sink. And this has been in the bag for a few days, which is good. Kind of softens them up, gets that process started. Now there is a lot of scuds in here, so they will devour that carrot up pretty quick. Uh, might be a little much if you don't have a very large population build up yet. Uh, but there's lots of scuds and uh, shrimp and whatnot. Also, this is 60 gallons because all three of these are connected. So it's uh, more than just a 20 gallon water volume. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.